hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome please make sure you subscribe like and share my videos and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i know this is not the dress i said i'd be recreating but i don't know what happened i lost the clips to that other dress and i had already recorded this one so I just decided to post it. Maybe I will make another video for the dress I said I would post. Maybe. And sorry about my voice. I have a cold. So for this dress, we are going to be using a total of two and a half yards. This is two yards. And of course, you are going to be needing a scissors tape and a chalk. So I folded the two yards into four and guys this dress i <laughs> i think it was slightly a feel just slightly but i'm not sure so just stay tuned and you'd see what i'm talking about so for starters i'm placing my neck measurement i'm placing two and a half for the width of the neck and then for the length of the neck Okay, no, for the length I use three inches, then for the depth I use two and a half. Then I'm placing my um my shoulder measurement, which is four inches. The feel that I was talking about is in relation to the neck. I feel like the neck I should have cut the neck deeper than um two and a half maybe i should have made it like four inches since we are going to be adding ruffles to it but you'll see when we get there so here i'm placing my armhole depth which is um seven inches then i'm just extending the line then of course i'll be placing um i'll be taking out um one inch for my shoulder slant and that's what i just drew on then i'll be um placing my shoulder to bust point which is nine but i'll be using nine and a half um for sewing allowance then i'll be using um placing my shoulder to under bust length which is 13 and a half those are my horizontal measurements of course then i'll be placing my um round bust measurement which is um 34 divided by 4 it will be eight and a half but i'll be rounding it up to 11 so that i'll have one inch for sewing allowance and two inches for just so that the shirt or oh, the dress won't be tight because i wouldn't i wouldn't be adding a zipper but if you are going to be using a zipper of course you can make it fitted then for my under bust um it is 28 i think yeah 28 then divided by four of course is um seven and a half or seven i'm not quite sure but i also added a few inches for allowance then i will place in the same measurement i place on my bust point on my armhole it's the same measurement then on my armhole i'm going to be going in by one inch so that i can curve out the armhole yes that's it then i'll be connecting my armhole to my bust point then to my under bust point yeah that wasn't straight i really need to get those rulers like i really need to do that yeah i'm just <laughs> still trying to straighten it out or curve it out rather then one thing i love about all these dresses they are very easy to make like you don't even need a lot of measurements <laughs> so from your under bust all you have to do is place your tip you know from there just place it and then straight down like just place it straight down and just trace it out guys i hope you can hear me i know my voice has a rasp 
because of the cold that I have. But I think I'm going to, when I'm done, you know, doing this voiceover, I'll be writing down the measurements on the screen so that you guys can see them in case you can't hear me. So, like I said, I'm just placing the tip from my underbust straight down to the end of your material. And that's what I'm doing. If you have a ruler, it's the same thing. All you have to do is place it and just twist it down. Um, I'm not quite sure what is happening. Well, okay, yeah, I'm just cutting it out. I forgot to change the angle of my camera. I am just cutting out what I, you know, drew on. What I drew. Please subscribe to my channel whilst I'm cutting this out subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for like you guys just come watch and then leave why please subscribe and stay okay stay in this family thank you yeah so as you saw um what i just did was you know start cutting it out from my shoulder slant to my armhole to my bust point to the under bust then just cutting the dress out you see and that's what you'll have and then here I just decided to, you know, just reduce it a little bit. Just take out one inch. Because, you know, at first I added like three inches, right? I added like three or four inches. So I'm just taking it out, guys. It just depends on you. Because I just felt like <clears throat> the dress shouldn't be too free. So that's why I'm doing this. But if you like that, you can just let it be. So that's what I'm just doing. I'm just showing you guys. <coughs> Sorry, guys. My voice is a mess. Yeah. So I just decided to take out like one inch from the underbust, you see? And that is just it. But for the armhole and the bust point, I just let it be like that. But for the um underbust, I took out one inch from what I had already done. And here I'm just cutting it out. And look at what I'm doing. God, it's stressful when you are trying to cut out something and you are making a video. You know, I didn't want to stay um, at an angle where I would block you guys from seeing what I was doing. That's why uh, I look like I'm, <laughs> like I'm using a razor to cut this out. Well, no. My scissors is very sharp. It's just the angle that I was sitting at. It wasn't very comfortable. And that's it. You cut it out. Then back to the neck. So for the neck, I just covered it out. So like I was saying, when you are making your own dress, since you know we are going to be adding ruffles, and the ruffles are like 2 inches, so you should, you know, take that into consideration when you are cutting out your neck. Because you see, this neck that I cut out would be very high because it's just 2.5 inches deep. So obviously, it's already high. When you add the ruffles, you know, they're, they're just going to fill that up. So I think you should cut your neck at least 4 inches deep. Yes, 4 or 4.5 inches deep. So that when you add the ruffles, it will be okay. So I just extended the width of the neck um, by half an inch so that I can, you know, Cover it as to a circle completely. So I feel like I should have also done that with the depth since I added, you know, half an inch to the length of the neck. I should have added two inches more to the depth. When we get to the end, guys, you'd see what I'm showing because I'll bend down our after sewing the shirt, like when I'm showing, I'll bend down and show you the neck so that you'd see how the ruffles just looked like yes and that's how it will look like Ooh, there we have it cute i loved how round this neck came out and this is what you will have and if you want pockets don't forget to add them there, see, that is how your ruffles will go. They'll go around the neck. So I should have added the depth of the neck. Seriously. 
and then you know there's a cuff also from the neckline from the middle of the neckline to the hip point or your under bust like any way you want it because i really wanted to change the style a little bit but i did it at the end so you can choose anyhow you want it you know after adding the ruffles to the neck you can just start from the middle of the neck to the to your under bust or to your hip points just anyhow you want it or you can even take it to the other side you can do it on the right side or on the left side just anyhow you want it but for starters i'm going to um use that chalk to trace out where i want the ruffles to be so i don't make a mistake and that's what i'm just doing i'm just trying it out to see and of course don't worry you know when because you see i made this and just looked somehow it looked too curvy so i'm just going to draw another one and the good thing about the chalk is you can just you know after you're done you can just wash it and that's all yes so i draw it down you see you can just try out anyhow you want the um curved ruffles to be And when you are done, you can just clean out the chalk. Then this is for the hand sleeves. Uh, I'm using half a yard, which is 18 inches. I'll be folding it, of course, into four for the two hand sleeves. This material is crap material i just <laughs> realized i haven't told you what type of material it is a korean crepe then the length of my hand sleeves is 25 then of course for the um, armhole i'll be going in by four inches of course and then going down by four inches then i'm just you know going to curve it out just like the normal armhole that you know guys please subscribe to my channel okay don't just come and watch and leave when you watch stay with us because we have more coming like i i recorded like three videos so that i can um, post videos every two days but then life said no go and sit down because i felt sick so i hope i'll be able to you know go back to that routine that i wanted to start because i really want to be very consistent now i want to post at least um after every three days but we'll see about that yes so i just carved the armhole then i just placed my elbow point yeah and then i'll be placing the measurement i believe my round elbow is 12 i think but of course i'll be using 13 because of sewing allowance then from there i'm just going to you know straighten it down then i'll be um i'll be cutting it out it's so like i was saying when you watch this video please make sure you subscribe and go through my channel i have lots of videos for you to enjoy okay and i have more coming and also a subscriber sent me a video i think two days ago sent me a video and some pictures on my instagram that she wanted me to recreate um that dress so if you have any um dress that you'd like me to subscribe <coughs> sorry you'd like me to recreate you can send it to my um to my instagram okay yeah thank you yeah and this dress that i'm wearing i also have a video on how i made it on my channel so you should really check out my channel you should you should really do so <laughs> And that's it for the sleeves, of course. Yeah, of course, it's two. Yeah, so for both sleeves. 
and this is the remnant material from the dress where i cut at the dress that's what i'll be using to make the ruffles so as you can see you know the dress the sleeves and the ruffles all in all i used two and a half yards yeah and i'm just folding it maybe you can't really see because of the color but i just folded it i'm deciding on how you know i want the ruffles to look like so i wanted it to be two inches yeah to be two inches long but then of course it should be i'll measure two and a half the half an inch for sewing allowance and that's what i'm just doing then i'm going to um i'm going to cut it out so have you subscribed no really have you subscribed if you are watching this please subscribe okay just do it i assure you you won't regret it in fact you will really 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 enjoy it yeah and these are the um materials for the ruffles that i had cut out of course i'll be joining them yeah then you would iron it of course you fold then iron it so that it'll be very easy for you to stitch the ruffles and i'm just showing you how the ruffles are going to be yeah that's how you are going to do them so you see the best thing to do is to iron them first before the stitching yes so well, have you subscribed i'm waiting for you to subscribe i hope you know that i can see if you have subscribed or not <laughs> yeah and those are the stones that i bought i bought it for just 100 naira so those are the stones that i bought that i'm applying but guys i didn't have time to apply them because i really wanted to post on that video my last video is like a week ago you know so I wanted to you know post on that video that's why i didn't insist on having to apply all the stones before showing the dress yes and we are done have you subscribed no have you what are you waiting for what what are you waiting for yes this is the dress and these are the side ruffles of course as you can see i did not top stitch the side ruffles i just I was confused at first because I was like, how did they do this? Because even from the thumbnail, if you saw, clearly they didn't top stitch it. So this is what they did, I guess. You see, after doing the ruffles, you can like open up the ruffles and then sew them in. But because they are ironed and of course they are ruffles, they are layered. So no one can see the stitching. But then they will lay. Because, you know, if you just stitch it at first, it will, you know, lay down. It will be standing up just like the way my neck. Can you see the neck? Yeah. So that's what I was talking about. If the neck was a little bit deeper, the ruffles will show better and they will lay better. I hope you get what I'm saying, guys. So please, when you are cutting yours, don't cut your neck to be two and a half inches. Cut it to be at least four inches or four and a half inches or even five inches so that the ruffles will lay down instead of you know, falling off like the way my own is falling off. Even though I believe if I top stitch the neck, they will lay down. I hope you are getting me. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.